people don't give a fuck about themselves. And I say this because uh, even today, like my cousin, he posted um, like a meme on Instagram and it said, like, do, do Black Lives Matter when it comes to what you put into your body? And we scream Black Lives Matter very appropriately when, you know, there's an injustice and and that injustice leads to one of us being murdered in the street. And that's why we say Black Lives Matter, right? Because we want to let people know that our lives matter. But our lives also matter when we're chugging Hennessy and sucking down cigarettes, <laughs> right? So <laughs> everybody has their vices. And I really feel like the thing we, I want to emphasize is that moderation, right? Everything in moderation. I drink in moderation. I, I don't snack in moderation. I probably just like chilling the snacks. Um, but we'll put so much money and effort and time into things that don't make us healthy. And then when it comes to spending money or time on things that will help us live literally 10 years longer than we're expected to, it's too hard. Or it's a problem. And I'm not okay, I'm not okay with that. I like, I feel like at the beginning, I'm sorry to cut you, I feel like at okay. the beginning, even at the, in the, of COVID, like I can use you an example, as an example, like you realized I got to get healthier and it's not comfortable. Like it hurts to get healthier. Like it's, you're breathing hard, you're sore, like it hurts. Right. But you went through that discomfort and I'm not, and like, I'm not saying that you were like 300 pounds or 400 pounds or my 1000 pound life big. But it's like, it's hard and you make sacrifices and you do it so that you can live longer, be healthier. And for very vain reasons also, it's like, I want to take my shirt off and look in the mirror and be good with that. You know what I'm saying? So I just think we need to put more energy, time, effort, and money into being healthier. Um, I love that because like I always joke about the way you um, don't take excuses as a trainer i think that's very important too right because um to your point everything in moderation that was so good right because someone asked me the other day like so t like i lost between when me and you were chilling in quarantine and today mm -hmm. i've lost 40 pounds right mm -hmm. and i've been trying to figure out like a good way to like kind of like put that out there as a motivational thing for people because like i was in a really dark place and like we used to talk to each other every day about this and mm -hmm. um, people ask me, like, what did you do? Did you switch your diet? Yo, I didn't switch my diet that much. I did not. Mm -hmm. Moderation, dog. Yeah. It was moderation. Like, I just didn't snack as hard as I wanted to. I didn't go crazy as much as I wanted to. Moderation, that was one thing. The other thing was, like, loving myself more. Like, you said, like, people need to love themselves more. Like, when you love yourself more, you care about self-care. Self-care yeah. is, like... It's, it's, it's like, we, we're told not to love ourselves. Like, we're told not to be vain, not to look in the mirror. Not, nah, do that shit, bro. Like, look at yourself in the mirror and see who you want to be. Whatever that may look like to you. But be comfortable with that. Be healthy. Love yourself more. And take the time to put that into your schedule. So, I like that you touched on that because I think that's, like, really, like, it starts with self-love. Mm -hmm. You got to do things in moderation. And you have to do things for yourself, dog. Like you have to like do things of physical activity for yourself, whatever it is that you like. It's not going to be comfortable sometimes. It was uncomfortable for me. I hated it. I was slower than I used to be. I wasn't mm -hmm. as quick as I used to be. I didn't look the way I wanted to look. But you posted like, a 15-minute two miles the other day? Listen, My man, nigga. when I was starting That shit was miles, crazy. You be you know what I'm saying, but like it, it, it's about thank you, first of all. <laughs> but like, yeah, it's about like, <laughs> like, I, like, like I was at a place right where I was running two miles in 18 minutes, and I wanted to be at a place where I used to be. I'm still running two miles in 18 minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that's good for me. No, but um, I won't run more than two miles. That's really the truth about me yeah. in two miles. Like, you know, that like after it's a mental two miles, thing for you am, too. It's a mental thing, but after two miles, yeah. I'm good for shit. <laughs> well, um, love yourself more man peeps that's, yeah. really, the, that's really the goal man I, I, you, said, you said it beautifully dog for real I just think we gotta just like the things that we like spend money on the destructive things that we spend money on to put into our bodies or to do to our bodies like we'll go to the club and spend $500 on a bottle but then like that 
that $200 for a trainer or a few sessions or to join a gym is too much when one is going to make you live literally 10 years longer and one is going to kill you in 10 years. Like it's, it's, Proven fact. it's, it's, it's just like a, a, a really like big fact. Right. And then, you know, we do get to the point sometimes of being deconditioned where it's like really uncomfortable to move. And it's like, you know, what's going to get you comfortable moving, moving. Moving, man. That's you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just being active. Do it. Just being active. Just do it. Just Anything. Do it. A walk, a jog. You don't have to. And I think, like, social media and um, even some of the shit I post, because, like, I, I post workout shit that is, You also that post is, like, your shirt off, and I was difficult. tired of that, because I couldn't take my shirt off. And I was like, well, that's whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can't, like, feed into that. And, like, one thing you said is, like, look at yourself in the mirror. Like, track your progress. Like, be proud of yourself for your like yeah, small victories that turn look, into man. big victories, you know what I'm saying? And unfortunately, we are so conditioned by social media to compare ourselves to everybody <sighs> and everything on social media. The hard the hard work is never on social media, only the finished product. Oh, so we see a before and after picture of somebody that was 300 pounds and now they're 150, and it's like we see the picture and it's like, oh no, that would take too long. That's too hard. There's a a, a woman think. that trains. That's what you think, right? There's a woman that trains at my gym, and she was 315 pounds. And she's 150 pounds right now. Salute. Salute, man. And it wasn't easy. It took a long time. She And it's, it's mental, too, also, right? Because oh, like we're not so just putting mental, our dog. energy into like physical well-being, but mental well-being also. Like She saw a therapist. Because you're 315 pounds. Most people don't love themselves at 315 pounds. It's, it, and to it's, actually do the work, you have to start working on loving yourself because after that, if you don't do the work of loving yourself at 150 pounds, you still won't love yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So you got to put in like the mental leg yeah, work. Yeah, it's, 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 and it's then twofold also the because physical. I didn't love my, like that's a good, that's a great point because I wasn't really loving myself, dog. Like I wasn't mm -hmm. really like, you know what I mean? Like that was a real thing. Like I wasn't really fucking with me, like as me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because of the way I looked, because of the way I felt. So like. I had to, before I even lost the weight, like, really just figure out, like, yo, like, what's up, bro? Talk to me, man. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? But that's a real thing you have to do because then you have that conversation. You're like, well, yo, honestly, I don't really feel that good because I don't look that good. And, like, you yeah. tell yourself, like, yo, fam, bring that ass to the track. And you know what yeah. I mean? But, like, it was a conversation with me and myself that, like, yo, I love you a lot and, like, you don't look as good as you want to look, so let's get you right. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mental thing. It's a physical thing. Uh, but I just think as a community, especially black people, like we just have to just put more energy into that every single day. Like you don't need that hair. You don't need that bag. You don't need those sneakers. <laughs> you don't need those shoes. <laughs> some shit is like $800 a bundle. The you don't need all that. Yeah. You don't need all that. You, like the hair that you buy is is going to be on your head and, and do nothing for you. Like it might like mask some of the. The issues of insecurities you have when it comes to appearance, but you're still going to be unhealthy. You're still going to be deconditioned, and like I feel like <laughs> that needs to be the focus. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well said, Indeed. man. I think that's I think that's really good going into the new year because honestly, a lot of people start with like, "Oh, I want to lose." Yeah, but it start like losing is cool, my man. But like loving yourself really is really what gets you going. Absolutely. That's what that's what will keep you going and like change your lifestyle. And because I'm I'm pretty sure like like I know I know you know for me like me being healthy is is not just like a thing. I don't just do things to get in shape. Like it's it's my life. Like it's a yeah. lifestyle for me. Yeah. Even if I'm not training, even if I'm not doing anything else like that, like I'm going to be like doing active things to stay healthy. And I'm sure it's a lifestyle for you too. Oh, it's, like you it's mandatory live, in you Miami. Live as long as you can, yeah. As long as I can. Absolutely. As fit as I can. Indeed. Shout out to absolutely. Me. So 